popular, scholarly, and trade publication articles are three types of articles that you as a student might be asked to use in your assignments. This short video will provide an overview about these source types, tips to find them, and what you need to know to tell the difference between them. Keep in mind, though, that what we outline today is what these source types usually look like. You may find a popular scholarly or trade publication article that doesn't fit neatly in the parameters we mentioned. Be sure to check with your professor if you're ever unsure what source type you have. Let's start by looking for a popular article on the topic of educational technology. A popular article is written for a general audience, usually with the purpose of entertainment. Popular articles are often found in newspapers or magazines. We'll search using Cook OneSearch, the search engine on the library's web page. Let's put our search terms in the search bar, remembering to add quotation marks so that OneSearch knows to give us results where words in the phrase educational technology appear together. We've got over 500,000 results, and they're all books, but we need an article. We can use the limiters on the left hand bar to limit our search results to just news sources. Also, since we know that popular articles can be found in magazines, let's search for a specific magazine. Time Magazine, which is a popular weekly news magazine, may have some good articles on this topic. We can try there. Beneath where we've typed educational technology, we can add Time Magazine in quotes and then use the general title field option to the right. This one looks interesting. Let's click the PDF full text. Wow, this one looks perfect. Here are some clues that this is a popular article. This article has pictures. The article length isn't long, about two pages. It seems written for a general audience since it looks easy to read. We also know from the article source, Time Magazine, that this article would be considered a popular article. When we save this article for later, our impulse might be to use the URL at the top of the screen, but it won't work for us later because it's connected to a particular session. Instead, we need to use something called a permalink on the right-hand side bar over here. It'll make sure we can access the article later. Let's do scholarly articles next. But what's a scholarly article? Scholarly articles are research articles that are usually written by a researcher, often a faculty member at a college or university. These articles are sometimes called peer-reviewed articles or academic articles. Peer review is a process that scholarly articles go through before being published. When the author submits their article to a publisher, the publisher will send it on to other researchers who are knowledgeable in that topic area to review and evaluate it and then return it with comments. After the reviewers leave comments, the author has the opportunity to read those comments, revise the article, and resubmit it for publication. The peer review process helps to ensure that the research in an article is of the highest quality. Your professor might tell you that you can't use review articles. It might be because review articles, also called literature reviews, summarize previous research on a topic. Though articles like those can be useful for background information and to help you identify relevant articles on a topic, they don't provide original information. Your professor may want you to find original research articles that report on the re results of a new study, experiment, etc. Using Cook OneSearch, let's search for scholarly articles using our same search terms. We need to find scholarly, peer-reviewed articles, so let's check this checkbox on the left sidebar for peer-reviewed. While we're over here, let's see what other limiters we can use. 
This publication date range is quite broad, covering 140 years. Let's narrow it down by changing this year to 2010, so our results are those published in the last 10 years. It also might be a good idea to use the geography limiter, so we can keep to articles published in the United States. I like the sound of this article. Let's click the yellow Find It button to see where we can access it. Looks like we can read it the full text at Sage Journals. This one looks about right. Here's how we can tell it's a scholarly article. The first and most obvious is that it's labeled Research Article. It also begins with an abstract, which is a short summary of the article. Scholarly articles have clear organization and structure. They usually begin with an abstract and will have specific section names like introduction, discussion, methods, etc. You won't find a lot of pictures like the one in the popular article, but you may see some tables and figures that relate to the method used in the study, like figures 1, 2, and 3 featured in this article here. Then there's the reference list at the end of the paper. Scholarly articles always cite their sources. These reference lists can be very long or quite short like this one and most of the sources listed would be considered scholarly articles. You may even find another source for your own research in this list. A final way you can tell is that the author has their background listed and what university they are from. You're unlikely to find that in a popular article. And finally, let's search for a trade publication article. A trade publication is a kind of magazine written for readers in a specific profession or industry. It's a great source to use to keep up with professional news. Again, we'll use the same search terms, but limit the format to trade publications. Wow, this first article looks good. Got it on the first try. This article is reporting on all the latest educational technology the author got to check out at a recent trade show. You may notice many similarities between this article and the popular article. Like the popular article, it has photos, is pretty short, and doesn't have any citations. Unlike the popular article, the article topic and publication audience will be a lot more specific. Trade publication articles will use terminology unique to the field. In this case, the author is working in the field of educational technology, but is not a professor. Authors in trade publications can also be journalists, and their credentials may not always be listed. To recap, popular articles are found in popular sources like Time Magazine. Other examples of popular sources are those that can be found in a retail store's magazine section. Popular articles are usually short in length and are written for a general audience. Scholarly articles are lengthy, thorough articles organized with a clear structure, including an abstract, discussion of findings, and references. They're usually peer-reviewed to make sure they are of the best quality. Trade publications articles are visually similar to popular articles. They differ in that the terminology in trade publication articles is often unique to a field. Also, trade publications are written for a specific audience, such as readers interested in a particular profession or industry. Thanks for watching this video. Visit bit.ly slash tu ask a librarian for details on how to contact a librarian through chat, email, or individual appointment. And remember, we're here to help.